Meet Ted, a hardworking citizen and a family man. I don't even have a job and I hate my family! Hello, Ted. Hello! Wait a minute, what's that sound? I think that's the pizza rolls done! Oh no, it's the nuclear bomb alarm! Wait, what? What do you mean it's a nuke? I'm getting out of here! Screw you, Dolores! Screw you, you fat daughter of mine! Timmy! Timmy, come with me! We gotta go down here! Timmy! Why would somebody want to nuke our house? Hey, what's going on guys? Sandy here and welcome back to 60 Seconds. The game where your goal is to survive a nuclear apocalypse with, uh, the Ted family. <laughs> your goal is, uh, last episode, if you guys remember, we survived for 31 days and then, uh, Dolores turned into a skeleton. <laughs> Hopefully this round we can do better. Let's go to new game. Let's go to Apocalypse, and again, I have a bunch of things on my list here that I need to collect before I head down to the shelter. And again, for you new guys, what you do is you go around your- you start in your house and you go around and scavenge a bunch of stuff. And I got- okay, so I need- okay, let's run around the house. Uh, okay, so here's the gas mask, so I need to remember that it's in the bathroom. And there's a bunch of food and water there, okay. Uh, flashlight on the bed. I need a radio. Where's the freaking radio? Oh, uh, okay, there's a gun there. Oh, Timmy's in the other bathroom with the med kit and the radio. Okay. Okay, wh where's my- where's Dolores? Uh, oh, oh no! Dolores! D Dolores, come with me! With the uh, bug spray! B bug spray, come with me! And, uh, food! F and, and fat daughter, don't worry, I won't forget you this time! Okay, let's throw that in there. Now let's go get Timmy. Let's go get Timmy, let's get the med kit, and let's get the radio. Oh, this is- wait, no, I can't. No! How the heck is the med kit that heavy? How does that even make sense? Okay, get the radio. Radio, let's get water. Okay, let's get another water, and then let's get uh, food. Food or water. <laughs> More water's fine with me. Okay, I gotta go get my fat daughter. F fat daughter, come with me. Oh, good lord, she's so massive. <laughs> Look at her. Okay, let's grab chest set, uh, map, uh, handbook. Okay, I need the handbook, and water. More water. We always need more water. Come on! No, I need food. Run down here. We gotta get food. Food. Oh, gas mask. Gas mask. Gas mask. Go! <laughs> we barely freaking made it. And this time, we got our entire family. We're actually good parents this time. I'm proud of myself. Alright, so here we go. Once again, we're on day one. And for you new guys to this game, the second part of this is all about survival. Everything you do in this game can have a consequence. So here we go. Day one. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. <laughs> yeah, it was. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. Okay, good. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll, <laughs> we'll even talk to cans. Oh, good lord. Uh, plenty of water. Okay, so we're good. How's our family doing? Okay, so it looks like everyone's healthy. I don't need to give anybody food or water for at least day one. Okay, what is this? We always thought life could be better. That was before we got nuked. <laughs> now we think life could be much better. <laughs> oh, good lord. Yes, a nuke will change your life. Okay, day one, complete. And we have our fat daughter with us this time. Oh, and go figure, our daughter's name is Mary Jane. <laughs> oh, good lord. Okay, day two. Fond memories are one thing, but we need to be ready for harsh reality that awaits us. Uh, everybody seems fine. Mary Jane is fine. Timmy's fine. Dolores is fine. And Ted is fine. Okay, so they're all good. I don't need to give them anything today. Okay, let's go to the next page. What is this? Uh, our neighborhood is still, still highly re re radioactive. Okay, so this is... Uh, preparing for an expedition. What this means for you new guys is we can send somebody upstairs to the nuke wasteland to look for supplies. Um, I have a bunch of food and water. I don't need that yet. Okay, I'm not going to send anybody on an expedition yet. 
Okay, so this says we woke up to a dripping sound today and noticed there's something leaking from the pipes. That green liquid looked innocent enough even after it ate through the table <laughs> and the chair and the f Oh, good lord. And the floor. Patching up that pipe is probably a good idea. Yeah, I would say so. So we can patch it up with the Boy Scout manual. <laughs> Why the freak not? Okay. Day two down. There we go. Okay, day three. Anything new? Okay, so the book, the uh, Boy Scout book fixed the green <laughs> liquid leak. Okay, uh, so Mary Jane needs water. Timmy needs water. Dolores needs water. Okay, and everybody needs water. Should I give them water or wait one more day? I only have four water bottles. We're gonna wait one more day. <laughs> I'm sorry, and we're not gonna send anybody on an expedition just yet. Okay, what is this? Uh, it's really weird when you get a feeling that something is watching you. Oh, no! It's asking me to use a weapon, but I didn't get one. Time ran out before I could get a weapon. <laughs> is something gonna kill us? Okay, looks like everybody's fine. Oh no, it says right here as we were running around looking for something to smash that furry rodent with. It took one of our cans of food. Okay, well I guess it's day four. Let's give everybody water. There we go. Hope you guys are happy. You couldn't defend yourselves against the rodent. Good lord, what a useless husband. <laughs> what a useless father. Day four complete. Let's see what's new with day five. So it looks like everybody's fine. They don't need water or food. Okay, let's go to the next page. Okay, so no water or food. What is this? There is a terrible... Uh, this is terrible. We can't sleep. We've been having problems with sleeping ever since we got down here. But now it's worse than ever. Okay, so if we give them a med kit... I don't know if I want to waste a med kit or not. Let's freaking YOLO. <laughs> YOLO. You better sleep good this time. <laughs> Day six, and they used up the med kit. Look over here. Empty first aid kit. Ah, oh, dang it. You guys are going to regret that if you get sick. Day seven, anything new? Ted is growing a nice beard here. I like this. <laughs> this is good. So it says that Mary Jane is hungry and thirsty. <laughs> Go figure. She is my fat daughter. <laughs> it says, actually, it says everybody's uh, hungry. Uh, Dolores has not eaten and wa- Okay. So everybody is hungry and thirsty. Can we give everybody- Okay, if we give everybody food and water- we only have two water bottles left and one can. We have to do it. Everybody is hungry and thirsty. And since we're low on supplies, we're gonna have to prep for an expedition. Wait, how the heck did we lose our radio? Before any of the streams squirting from the walls could hit, hit our map, we tore it down. <laughs> but we lost our radio. Oh, no! Oh, that sucks! Oh, man, okay. Well, not gonna give anybody food or water, we just fed him. Okay, so here we go. We can pick somebody to go on the expedition outside. Uh, Del or not Dolores. Uh, Mary Jane, <laughs> since you weren't here the last time, <laughs> get your butt to work. Head outside, uh, Lardo. Maybe she'll grab a bunch of food for us. You know, she is a lardo. All right, so there we go. Day nine, and Mary Jane is gone. Okay, anything new going on? Mary Jane better bring back some food. Okay, everybody seems fine. Okay, day nine looks good. No food or water, and we don't have a radio. Dang it! This is asking us as if we want to listen into the radio for uh, government contact for, like, rescues and stuff. <laughs> but our freaking radio broke! Mary Jane, you better bring back food and a radio. Okay, so it's day 12 and Mary Jane is finally back. But it doesn't look like she brought us a radio. Oh, Mary Jane, you didn't bring us a freaking radio. What did she get? Oh, plus four water bottles. Mary Jane brought back four water bottles. Anything else? 
she didn't bring back any food. She's our hefty daughter and brought back no food. Well, I guess since she brought back so much water, let's give everybody water. We have one can of soup left. Do we prep for another expedition? I don't think we have a choice. We we need food really bad. And we need somebody to find a r working radio. All right, so day 13, it says everybody needs food. Uh, okay, who? let's go ahead. Let's feed everybody. <laughs> oh, gosh, our last can of soup is gone. Oh, good Lord. Okay, who do we send out? Uh, Timmy. Remember last episode, Timmy came back with a metric crap ton of food. All right, Timmy, don't let us down, homie. Bring us back some food. Okay, so it's day 15, two days later, and it says everybody's hungry again. I, I don't have any more food. Mary Jane, are you eating every, how the heck are they still hungry? Wait, what's this? Dolores has not been very talkative lately. Should we chat with her and find out what's wrong? Uh, yes. D Dolores, don't be like this. We we have to stick together. Yeah, it says day 16, they're all still hungry. I, I can give them water. Let's try giving them all water. I have no more food. And Timmy is still gone. Like four days later and Timmy is not back. <laughs> Oh gosh, Timmy. Oh, Timmy's back. Look at this. Okay, did he bring did he bring any food back? Oh, okay, let's see what Timmy brought back. Okay, so Timmy brought back two water bottles. He brought back a gas mask and an axe. <laughs> oh no! Timmy didn't bring back food! And they're all hungry! This is not good! Yeah, we have to prep for another expedition. Alright, so who do we want to send on our expedition? It's between Ted and Dolores. Uh... Let's go ahead and send Dolores! Dolores, please! <laughs> bring us back freaking food! Alright, so day 19, and let's give everybody water. And it says that Mary Jane is sick. But I don't have a med kit because they had to use it for sleeping supplies. <laughs> oh, good lord. Okay, sorry, Mary Jane. You're gonna have to keep me in- Oh, look at her! <laughs> she looks so sick! Mary Jane? Where did Mary Jane go? We couldn't spare any food for Mary Jane, and eventually she reached a boiling point where her stare was enough to kill. She left without a word. Oh my gosh. But we knew she would probably become a highway woman and get all the food cans she would ever need. Mary Jane left to get food. Well... Mary Jane ran away. I literally have no food for anybody. Please, Dolores, come back for food. Oh, and look, Timmy is now sick. Oh no. Day 21. Come on, Dolores, hurry the freak home. Okay, so this is saying our ventilation system has stopped. And it, they think that a rat is in it. And they're, they're asking me if I want to use a Boy Scout manual or uh, bug spray on it. Let's use the bug spray. I don't know how a Boy Scout manual will work on an air vent system. <laughs> okay, day two. How the crap did Ted die? Oh, and look at Timmy! It says he's thirsty, hungry, sick, and crazy. Timmy actually tore off a teddy bear's head, and he has a can of soup on his head. Oh my gosh. What's this say? 
There are only so many days a man can survive without food. Ted was strong, but it was too much for him. He starved to death. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Dolores! Where the freak is Dolores? Timmy, take water, bro. Timmy is the last man left. Dolores, please come back. Oh, I hear her. She's coming back. Day 24. Wait, where did Timmy go? Timmy! Okay, so it says here, hunger drove Timmy insane. When he realized he won't be able to provide for him, he snuck out and never returned. So Timmy did what Mary Jane did. Oh, gosh. Okay, Dolores came back. What did she come back with? Uh, oh, good lord. She came back with one can of food. Oh, she came back with two water bottles and a radio. Okay. Dolores, we're going to give you water and food. Okay, I can't pack for an expedition. Nobody's left. Okay, and we can turn on the radio to see if there's any government signal. Dolores, you're our last hope. Day 25. <laughs> Come on, Dolores. Hang in there. Okay, so this is saying the government is going to drop supplies in our new area. And if we use our gas mask, we can get these supplies. Okay, Dolores, bring your back self some supplies. Oh, look at this. She brought back water and cans of food. Can we survive with Dolores? All right, so day 27 and it says Dolores needs water. Okay, let's give Dolores water. Uh, expedition, I can't do an expedition. What is this? Oh, it says somebody's on the other side of the door trying to pry it open. Okay, Dolores, <laughs> Dolores, use your ax. Okay. Come on! Can she protect herself? De okay. Dolores protect herself with, th with the axe, it looks like. Some axe action was enough to send those cowards running. Okay, that's good. And it says Dolores needs food. Alright, so this said somebody is knocking on the door now. Should we open it? Uh... <laughs> we need something, please! Somebody give us something! Okay. Somebody's knocking on the door. Dolores, stay safe. Day 29. Oh, uh, what was it? Wait, what? Someone was- Someone started shooting. We closed the hatch as quickly as it could, but a shot or two grazed. So Dolores was hurt. Oh, no. Dolores got shot. And I don't have a med kit. <laughs> Please don't die! Day 30! Dolores, hang in there! The government's coming! Baby! Alright, so day 35. D Dolores looks awful, but she's hanging in there. Anything new? Okay, it's asking us to kill a rat with the axe. <laughs> Alright, Dolores, get up and go kill that rat. Alright, day, th day, day 36! Oh my gosh, I can't believe Dolores is sitting there looking at her dead husband. <laughs> Okay, so day 38, it says soldiers sent out another radio message requesting all survivors in the area remain patient and await further instructions. Okay, so we're supposed to use our gas mask here. Okay. Hopefully they'll rescue us. Okay, so day 39, it says there's some survivors outside begging for supplies. Uh, we have a crap ton of water. I'm not gonna give you food. We're gonna give you a crap ton of water. There you go. Dolores, good job. You're, you're giving back. Day 40. This is the farthest we've made it so far. All right, nothing new with day four. Wait, what? No! Oh, no! We made it all the way to day 40. Oh, no! Dolores suffered with her injuries for far too long. When the infection spread, there was nothing we could do. 41 days, we survived. That's 10 days better than last time. We're getting better. We are getting better. Anyways, dudes, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. If you guys want me to play this again and maybe try to beat it this time, let me know. Either hit that like button down below or... Tell me to leave the fat daughter behind. <laughs> oh, good lord. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you dudes next time.